So you got wacky Nan- Nancy Pelosi thinking that Donald, uh, that George Bush is still in the presidency. You know, you got these crazy liberals up there. You got Maxine Waters thinking that uh, Russia has invaded uh, Korea. I mean, what kind of crazy people are, are we dealing with, man? Are, are they just tripping over their words? Are they mentally unstable? Or, or what's going on? Okay, those are the people who are telling you that the border wall will most likely cost $25 billion and they want to make it sound like that's a great big number that we can't even pay for it. Okay, listen to this. Every single year in America, it costs the American citizens $99 billion in estimated costs for illegal aliens, illegal immigrants, undocumented workers, undocumented immigrants, whatever you want to call them, they come from all over the world and it costs the American people $99 billion. Oh, oh, wait a minute. Here's the argument that they come up with. But don't you know illegal citizens, uh, illegal aliens pay taxes too? Yeah, we discovered that uh, and it's come public and we all have known that for a while, but Guadalupe Garcia de Reyes was found to have a stolen social security number. Hey man, they might be selling them numbers down there at the flea market for all we know. That's a common practice in their culture. Stolen social security numbers is not a new thing. It's been happening for a very long time. But back to the original subject. 99 billion dollars that's what it costs to take care of these illegal people illegal aliens in this country keep that number in your head 99 billion with a b now let's just estimate a hundred million taxpayers in america today and let's just say that out of these hundred million every one of them are going to have to pay for this wall let's just say none of it comes from border tax none of it comes from uh any other source other than American taxpayers. A hundred million people paying for a $25 billion wall over the course of a four year period of time breaks down to each one, each one of the 100 million people paying $1.25 every week. If it is spread out over an eight year period, it is 61 and a half cents, basically 62 cents a week, less than a dollar. People donate more money to take care of African homeless people, African starving children, children in the uh, South American countries, African rainforests, all kind of economical situations. People donate more money than that every week. 62 cents over an eight year period. Come on, people. A $25 billion wall is way cheaper than 99 billion every single year. And the cost will only skyrocket higher with the rising increase of more and more illegals coming across the border. Well, hopefully, we're going to get this situation turned around and they are going to begin to self deport more and more and more so that we don't have to go round them up and the ones that we do have to go round up uh, are most likely going to only be for the most part hardened criminals committing acts of felonious nature acts of terroristic nature you get the point we're not just going to go down there to the corner and pick these guys up at Home Depot and say, hey, you're deported for no fucking reason. <laughs> but no, the mainstream media wants to sell it like that, don't they? Anyway, I just wanted to tell you guys about that cost of the border wall and how it breaks down in my numbers. And those are just estimations. But I don't want you to think that this border wall is going to cost way more than what it really will. So my name is Johnny Jetrod, and I want to thank America. If you like what we're doing here, give me a thumbs up, subscribe to my channel, share this report, tap that bell for future notifications for more awesome videos.
Thank you, America.